Vita are jerks. Why are they jerks? Well, because for one, they actually compared eating chicken to the Holocaust. So that's pretty bad. You got to admit. Okay. Can we stand that way, son? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Want some light on me? Uh, watch my jacket, by the way, guys. Just make sure Can that. Stand by it. All right. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, so, what, 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 what's your question? Um. Why are they jerks? Yeah. Well, you know, they just don't really have choice. And you know what? That guy right there, vegetarian. I don't eat a lot of meat myself. But it should be one of those things that's voluntary for people. And there's companies like Impossible Food and Beyond Meat that are doing a great job at meat alternatives and getting the market to change. They should focus their time on that instead of, you know, sending kids photos of Ronald McDonald's as a serial killer. It's really weird, and I don't think they help their own cause. I actually think PETA is the biggest enemy to animal rights in this country. And why is that? Because they make it seem too extreme. Whenever there's a movement, like, look, look, animal rights is a good thing, you know? Like, you know, the idea of, like, changing how we view things. But it should be based off of science and innovation. It shouldn't be based off of just protests and making people feel guilty. And then also doing these horrible ads where they just, like, it's like they compare eating chicken to the Holocaust. And look, you know, do chickens have lives? And are all lives pres precious? Yes, but not all lives are equal. So the idea of comparing the biggest genocide in modern history to chicken, which every person eats besides vegans, is insane. And I think they've actually stopped people from becoming vegans. So I think PETA is a very weird organization. And that's why. Have they ever been effective? What? Have they ever been effective? What about in the 80s when they used to throw the blood? When they throw the blood? I'm not sure, because, you know, the rise of veganism, I think that's actually just due to, like, you know, social media. It's due to, like, celebrity culture. It's due to movies. I don't think PETA with the blood stuff and that kind of thing has changed it. And I can definitely say, like, you know, like, you know, I've done a lot of protests before. And a lot of times people say, you're wrong. In this particular situation, a lot of people have just said, oh, you're right, they're jerks. And, you know, I don't think anyone said, oh, I love beating meat or I love wearing fur, but they just think that PETA's gone too extreme. In fact, one of the best comparisons, I was at a protest protesting the Westboro Baptist Church one year ago, and, you know, they compared PETA to the Westboro Baptist Church. It's nuts. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you agree or disagree there, but it's like... I don't know, my thoughts. Um, that is nuts. Yeah. So is um, some of the chicken holocaust stuff. It's a bit extreme, Yeah, I believe. And, and by the way, you know, if someone's vegan, that's great. If someone doesn't want to wear fur, that's great. But you know, there was a company in Mexico, they created an alternative to lever, leather. That's great technology, and I hope those people yeah, become billionaires so doing it. I hope Impossible Meat becomes a multi-billion, sorry, Impossible Foods becomes a multi-billion dollar company. I hope that like her alternatives become a thing if the market gets options, but I don't think they should be taking away other people's options. And also, they're not even a very man low managed or. They do, you know, uh, stuff where they have animals, like they're telling people not to have dogs or cats, then they put them in their facilities and 85% of them get euthanized a year. Now, what percent of them are sick? What's the thing with that? But they're not doing a great job. And I think, uh, man, I love my dog, man's best friend. Peter doesn't think I should have my dog. And I yeah. think that's really wrong. And I treat my dog very well. Well, dogs evolved to be around humans. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. You know I'm, not, I'm not a biologist. I'm not going to say that. Well, some people say that. I just say. Um, I love my dog, and I hope he has the same. Would you say this is an effective protest? For them or for us? Uh, them. No, I think it makes them come off as very strange and jerks. I think, I think there's a better way to do it than what they're doing it, and I think their history of ads is so disgusting, like the, especially the Holocaust one, because you know there was one woman who was asking us about this earlier, and her husband was a Holocaust survivor who died recently, and this is not that uncommon. I, I, I would say there's a lot of people in this area that they do this stuff with, and for this ad being effective, you know, whenever there's a megaphone involved, people get weirded out. Would you have any suggestions for a more effective approach? I would say focus on science and not being so preachy. Be more about awareness of the ideas versus telling people they're wrong for the ideas. No more Ronald McDonald is a serial killer. No more like telling people like, you know, they're evil if they eat meat or hell, they fault people just as they're vegetarian. So my attitude is, you know, focus on just the facts and of giving it of awareness to things versus taking away choices. So, you know, like for example, you know, meat does cause climate change, that's a fact. So focus on spreading information about that, but then stop you know, throwing blood at people, stop doing all this weird stuff. That's just a simple answer. Was, were the extremist um, ads directly related to PETA or? Other Extreme. people. Oh yeah, they were actually directly from PETA's org. No, I'm sure all orcs have subsidiaries and things like that. I've been involved in more than one, and they're all a little bit strange, I gotta admit. But, you know, it's one of those things where 
it, it's one of those things where like some radicals do get involved, but the official org has been involved in a lot of this stuff. And you know, deciding what is PETA and what's not, there's one organization, and I think PETA does a lot of wrong. Would you like to say anything else? Um, check out this website right here. Yeah. Oh, you have one? Uh, yeah. yeah, got it. There you go. Check out the website. And uh, final question I have for you. Sure. Does my hair look good? Yes, Thank excellent. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, bro. <laughs> How about Charles? Charles? Yeah. Rob. Nice to meet you, Rob. Would you like to know where it's going to be shown? Where it's going to be shown? Uh, Rob P. All right, Rob P. on YouTube. I'll take a look at it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. probably have the funniest sign here today. Peter equals vegan fashion. Would you like to say anything about it? You look freezing cold. Uh, cover your face, I guess, and let me get some.